the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear friends, today Jesus is telling us to experience God and himself. Let us pause and pray that in our lives, while we are practicing our Christian life, we may experience God and Jesus. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go toward the south of the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place that he rose and went. And there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning seated in his chariot. And he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, Go over and join this chariot. So. Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, 
how can I unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Now, the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, like a lamb before his shearer is silent. So he opens not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. And the eunuch said to Philip, About whom, I ask you, does the prophet say this, about himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with his scripture, he told him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went down into the water. Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip away. And the eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself a Azorus, and he passed through. He preached the gospel to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response to God's word is, Cry out with joy to God all the earth. All together, cry out with joy to God all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound of the God who gave him life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud with exaltation ready on my tongue. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Blessed be God, who did not, did not reject his, my prayer, not withhold my, his merciful love. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Kindly rise for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they will be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except he who is from God. He has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your father said the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat, eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
dear friends we may wonder why jesus tells us that anyone who eats of my flesh and drinks of my blood will have eternal life and the food which I, which i will give to the world is my flesh and blood is the drink for the salvation of the world it is mainly because jesus wants us to experience god and jesus himself experience is a great teacher and if we have a good experience of any person for example our friends mother father we love that person we are together so jesus tells us that he has come to give life to the world and that life he will give by eating his flesh and drinking his blood now this when we eat his flesh and drink his blood we are made united we are together we are inseparable intimacy closeness with jesus grows and when that intimacy closeness grows we can experience him and when we experience jesus we can experience his father who is god jesus has given us the example he says i am the vine you are the branches and when branches live on that vine vine the branches grow and produce fruit so when we experience jesus we live his life and that life in us will produce fruit we experience jesus and remain united with him so when we eat his flesh and drink his blood you are united with him and to remain united with him frequency of the communion we should receive it every day saint pius the 10th has told us that this food is not for the holy and perfect or pure it is for those who are weak and sinners there is a tendency in earlier days and now also it exists that because of our sinfulness because of our weaknesses we feel so ashamed or so sorry to go and approach this bread of life to receive it we feel unworthy but the church teaches us that this food is for people not only for the pure and those who are holy but also for those and mainly for those who are weak and sinful and therefore pious the 10 as an encouraged frequent reception of communion just teaches us when we feel sorry for our sins when we have experienced our unworthiness we should go for confession sacrament of reconciliation and once our sins are forgiven we should not hesitate to go and receive communion when we receive this communion we are given joy jesus has told us you will be with me and i will be in you and you will remain joyful once we experience the joy we give that joy to others and it goes on multiplying so a christian life is meant to be joyful and that joyous experience we get because we receive jesus we receive his flesh and blood and when we receive his flesh and blood we are turned into jesus it is jesus who lives in us and it is jesus who gives us life and this food his body and his blood becomes 
the necessary means for the sacrament of grace or to receive the life of grace. If you want to remain in God's grace, this receiving of his body and blood is necessary. Then we grow in the life of grace. We grow in closeness to Jesus and closeness to his Father. When we experience a good person in our life, we always want to be with him or with her. When we experience the goodness of Jesus, Jesus becomes our companion. He tells us, I am always with you. In other words, he is there to give us company as a good friend, as our master, as our teacher, whatever we experience him. So be with him, and to be with him, we receive his body and his blood. And this is the way Jesus is trying to give his apostles, his disciples, to us in everyday life, his experience that he has given his life for us, not only his life, but he has given his body and blood. When we receive it, we become his good disciples. Our Christian life is turned into the life of service. Because we receive his body and blood, we are having now two things to do. First, we have to do with our lives what Jesus has done with his life. And therefore, we should remember, Jesus has sacrificed his life for us. We should learn to sacrifice our life for others. That is the second thing. He has told, love one another as I have loved you. When we experience Jesus, when we receive his body and blood, our life is not only for us. It does not mean that we should not live our life for us. No, that is very important. But our life is meant for others. So first, we should do with our life what Jesus has done with his life. And secondly, as Jesus has come to serve others, our life is also meant to serve others. So let us pause and pray that constantly Regularly, we may learn to receive the body and blood of Christ, experience Jesus in our lives, experience his Father, because he has told us, one who has seen me has seen the Father. One who has experienced me has experienced the Father. And thus, become good disciples, good followers of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of your name, for our good and the good of all his church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange affected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that we as we have come to know your truth, 
we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim your Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and is rising and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, come with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly pass with the angelic chorus sing together, the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints we have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now let us pray the prayer which Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins from the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you, to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, Give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. The Lord has risen and shone his light upon us whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God always remain with us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Shall not hunger, those who believe in each.
shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father draw him, and I will my flesh for the life.